so i watched episode 9 and yes as usual it was a really good episode however there is another specific scene in which i think that they give us an unnecessary hint to what's really going on but it's possible that that hint was probably a foreshadowing just for the guys that already have read the manga but anyway let's break it down this episode that covers from the end of chapter 25 till the end of chapter 28 and right from the start we see that imeno was at least able to bring back denji thanks to the string on his chest and we find out that denji is really tougher than what he looks like since he was able to regenerate even from a headshot in his human form and we see him jumping in directly into a fight with katana man not even knowing what really happened to imeno and aki and oh boy they did a really good job with this fight but i don't know if it was intentional but if you stop the video in some specific moments into the anime when they clash with Denji's chainsaws, however when we find out the name of this girl, which is Sawatari, for some reason they change the amount of nails that she needs to invoke the snake devil, because in this moment into the manga she needed 4 nails to invoke the snake, but in the anime she only needed 1, but in the meantime we also see Denji that does not want to kill this guy's goons, and even if he takes one of them as an hostage, that probably is just a bluff. Meanwhile Katana Man really does not care, however here there is a bit of change, because instead of the usual samurai slash with the body that slowly slides, in the manga the cut is much more brutal, and from that point they changed a bit the perspective and how much long the scenes are thanks to the manga they show us the bodies of the four division members much more quickly but before we continue i noticed that almost 90 percent of the viewers of this type of video are still not subscribed to my channel so please hit the subscribe button and also please leave a like and a comment because that can really help my channel to grow but anyway after that there is another change because in the manga we see that the people in the train are almost shocked by seeing guns because at this point they still don't tell you that basically there are very rest strict rules regarding guns, since the fear of them can empower the gun devil constantly, but after that we see Magima going back on her feet after being shot at multiple times, but after that we jump to these guys that are basically waiting for the arrival of Magima in Kyoto, but when they are informed that the first, the second, the third and the fourth division were all attacked at the same time, but when they show concern for Magima, she walks out of the train drenched in blood, but she is perfectly fine without even a scar, but when she asked if she was fine, she lies, and after that she quickly finds out that their main objectives Denji, she asks for 30 criminals with at least a life sentence, plus a shrine and new clothes. And after that, they made a nice addition. And we see that basically these criminals are having their last meal. To further emphasize that what will happen to them is fully approved by the government. And this is probably not the first time. And then there is the moment that gives me mixed feelings. Because when they show this raven, which is an addiction of the anime, I thought why they are foreshadowing that this little animal has something to do with what really is happening into this moment. With these guys that are exploding due to Makima power that from Kyoto thanks to the sacrifice of these 12 criminals if you remember originally she asked for 30 but she only got 12 and I don't know you but the full scenes into the anime is just amazing and also the audio when she does the thing with her hands is purely a love letter to the viewers because I never saw an anime that is produced with such care like this but anyway after that we see Kobani that was able to survive thanks to Arai's sacrifice and we see her go full John Wick mode trying to avenge her friends however here there is another change but it's a small one because in the manga we don't see that the snake devil is able to also reach and hit this building and the cars but the scene is much more better into the anime but the ending is the same with Sawadari that is able to escape with katana man but Kobeni has another mental breakdown hugging Denji's body and asking for forgiveness but the episode ends with this guy that says to Makima that all the non-human component of the first second and third division and now they will be all united under Makima in the new fourth division but he gives her a resignation letter because he foresaw that they will be a war inside the Devil Hunter Association. But anyway, thanks for watching. But as always, have a nice day and I'll see you next time.